we're still in East Lansing, another space. So glad I came up here. Scene Metro space, art, music, film, theater, dance. And it's at the bottom floor of this wonderfully colorful parking structure. And so we're going in and we're going to look at this show. I didn't walk into the door. This show is called Detroit 2D. We went from Michigan Masters to Detroit 2D. Detroit, oh, look at all this stuff. It's a map, but let's take a peek around the gallery. Table with stuff on it. Money. All the arts organizations need help. All of you. Think about that. There's a stage. And in a minute, I'm going to get Tim to tell me about this space. Oh, I love these. You all know how I love shadows. There's Kathy Lyson at the drive in. Kathy is on her way. She was featured in the New American Painting Book. I believe that was last year. And that's a very awesome honor. She's a good painter. David Renard, we know that name. Look at it. It's like a, a teardrop or a big raindrop coming out of that little cloud. That's how I think. It's really empty and quiet in here now, and I have to thank Tim for letting me in, because usually the gallery is not open. But as a result, we can get in and we can see these really wonderfully subtle, quiet collages by Vince Troya. who we also know because Vince is with, is of the Cave Gallery in one of our favorite places, Russell Industrial Center. The molecular structure of sadness Big Bang, Radiation Sickness, Dinosaur Tears, Kierkegaard died at 42. I love those titles. There's that guy again. Where did Tim go? Tim! Kareen Vermillion Smith. Tim, I'm not going to put Tim on camera, but Tim is going to tell us about the uh, scene. So, Scene Metro Space, where uh, I think it was, um, came into existence in 2004. It was um, one of East Lansing's, uh, the city of East Lansing's responses to Governor Granholm's Cool Cities grants. That, That's that great. 
So the space is city funded and relies upon volunteer power. Um, it is more than anything a cultural destination, more of a, a museum than a, than a uh, retail gallery. Uh, we have poetry readings, music venue, um, and various other activities at scene. Its primary goal though is to uh, to um, continuously bring cutting edge contemporary art to the area. We feature local, regional, and natural artists in most of our shows at scene. That's great. And this is part of the Cool Cities uh, project. It is indeed. That's great. I mean, well, it, it's, I would never have known. And this is a wonderful space. This is a great space. We're in our second location, actually. Um, and doing very well. We do roughly six six-week shows a year, and we're, we're down for about uh, two weeks in between for installation and deinstallation. And you've been with it all along? No. Uh, I've been involved in scene since, uh, as an artist in the area, I've been involved with scene since its inception. I've been director since last July, and I came on board as director. And so uh, I've, almost, I've been on board for just about a year, almost. This is a great job. This is, of course, Detroit 2D featuring young Detroit artists. We have so many wonderful young Detroit artists and some not so young and some middle-aged ones. Sure. Michigan has a wealth of artists. And one of the things that I'm really glad to see is I just came from the Michigan Masters show over at the Kresge Art Museum, which is only like a five minute walk from here. And that's one end of the spectrum and here's another end, and really there's no difference, it's just that we're all artists and we're all working in Michigan, and I think that we all need to know about each other. Absolutely. Uh, another exciting thing happening in the city here is uh, about a 50-yard walk from here, so between here and Kresge is where the new um, Eli Broad Contemporary Museum is going. It's going up right over right. here on the corner across the street. They mentioned that to me. I, I was like, I got goosebumps it's when I heard about fabulous. that. It's going to be fabulous. Then East Lansing is going to be a destination. Absolutely. No, get, every, I tell everybody, all artists, get your portfolios ready because people think that because Michigan, and especially the metropolitan Detroit area, is going through some difficult times right now with the car mm -hmm. problems. Sure. At the same time, we're getting this notice nationally. You should pick up today's New York Times because oh, this is the Tarmina Brothers. The um, today's New York Times has uh, a, um, an article about um, artists and how the recession is affecting them, mm -hmm. and they asked for artists to send information, just email, and so we put it on Facebook, and a number of people responded. And Karen Khalifa, I love you, Karen. You were one of my students too. Um, one of our students, former students from CCS, Stephanie Sturton, who you should show here, she's awesome. Uh, they contacted her. They put her picture in the New York Times along with images of her in her studio and her work. And she's talking about what um, she's had to do what kind of time she's had since she graduated mm -hmm. and um, the kind of struggle she's doing, but she's still staying here. And see, that's the thing about what's going on in Michigan. We've got this wealth of artists as evidenced by what's going on in this show. And I, I really like this work. This is Karen's. Yes. I really like this work. Um, we've got a wealth of artists and we don't want to lose them. Yep. And the Kresge thing, the Kresge uh, grant thing, um, what county is this? This is Ingham. Oh, okay. Well, the Kresge grant was just for Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb. But who's, knows, who's to say they won't extend that? This is more Devons? This is more Devons. Yeah. Well, it's really interesting, like you know, while we're doing well here, um, smaller galleries, galleries that don't have some of the funding that we're, we're lucky to have are struggling. We had a very... A good cutting edge contemporary gallery in the area here in Lansing called 414 The Basement, which really? was bringing some really fabulous work to the area that just had to pull up stakes. Uh, That's a shame. 
They had a great show. They were in the middle of a great show, horticulture. They brought in a ton of sod. Uh, they were growing plants. Um, it was about, you know, it was a green show. It was one of the most interesting shows I've seen in this area in a long time. So what we need to do, and that's one of the reasons why I do these videos, is to spread the word about spaces yes. that are not just the DIA and not just, you know, whatever. That's right. And these, this is grassroots. This is like you know, it is. It is. And it's so important. This is extremely grassroots. All of the stage lighting uh, in scene, you're talking about $10,000 worth of stage lighting, is, um, is donated on indefinite loan by a single individual who enjoys working stage light and soundboard and that kind of thing. This is wonderful. All of the sound